So this is the third video with some tweaking tips using the Reaper, the Easy Drama, the Broomstick Bass. I re-recorded some parts so we got a, something like a bluesy sound coming up. Uh, sounds like this. Whoops. Oh yes, now I've turned it on my, my Pod X3 and I want it to be my sound card. So I go up here and then, well, choose here the Pod X3 Live. So uh, you can use, I only use the mix, but I can use this as the first one and this as the last one. So when I record, I, I will, I'll have the, the, the possibility to choose, choice between, to choose between all this different stuff, including recording dry. Um, along, I'll be uh, hearing the sound of the, the distortion, all the, the effects, it will record the dry signal. This is a very nice uh, stuff, so you can dry, you pick up so any, any, any amp just to record, and then you get the dry signal to work with port 2.0 or stuff like that. Okay. So. Yeah, now you can hear it. As you may may heard the this at the beginning, I I, I have a mistake. You see the broom, the bass didn't start at the correct place. So we double kick it, and you have. Let's put it smaller. So at the beginning, mm, so here we need a note. Let's see. You see, it works like a, 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 a small sound. That's perfect for me. And this is my note. So, um, but in this video, I'm gonna talk about guitar. I've I got my Stratocaster plug it. This sounds. got here the gearbox too but the gearbox is not open inside of the the reaper i could that i could do that too but i i don't like it i work it i work with them separately so and these are the sounds that i i, I really like I, I think i'm gonna make another video just to to explain them better but the they sound very great. I use the Kelly Crunch, so the Mark II C Plus, and I'm not using its original um, cab, which is 112, but uh, 412 Green 25. It gives you more bassy and more um, clarity to the sound. equalizations the volt settings I just roll it up down the, the drive a little bit and put the presence at 100% uh, it comes 92 but I, I want a more sparkly stuff <laughs> so at uh, my band I use it 
uh, my A, B, C, and D uh, presets as uh, A, B, and C were uh, a three heads of the same amp. So at the A, I got this sound that I called Mark 2C plus clean. <laughs> I can turn this stomp on, which gives me the default uh, settings for the boost plus EQ. I like to use the red comp as well. Of course, compresses too much. That's why I prefer this one. This is the whammy bar. So, this is my clean sound. The crunch sounds the same settings but just a little bit uh, of drive see very bluesy sound The same trick here. Right? And this is my Mark 2 C plus crunch. And then finally the C, it's the lead which gives me the same settings but a little bit more of drive. the stomp it comes a little bit of a uh, fuzzy but it's very soft to to do solo parts stand on the delay Okay, so the D, the D uh, position it's my acoustic guitar simulator. Uh, I got other videos to talk about it. Ah, uh, there's a tricky sound here at the tone two with a flanger. But here the tone one. I think it sounds nice to me. So um, going back here, I'm gonna have a, a, a brand new. I'll, I'll call the guitar one. Let's pretend this could be a rhythm guitar. So it's armored. If I want to record stereo or mono, but record mono. So here we got a guitar, input, 
and I'm gonna record a little bit uh, small stuff just to have a small idea how it sounds. some mistakes over there but it doesn't matter I just want to just give you an idea and one very nice trick here it's putting perhaps um, the band for a little while perhaps 15% uh, and the other guitar which I'll call guitar 2 um, will be at the other side and here we're gonna change the settings of the mic. Okay, I'm, I'm using the, the fifth seven axis. I'll choose the dynamic and that's it. So let's record the second. thousands of mistakes over there but doesn't matter so here we got I can hear both guitars there's a very interesting trick here I open a, a another track this will be bu bus guitars okay and uh, and IO I'll send it to my bus guitars, right? And I've turned, uh, mark this off, unmark this, because I don't want to blend my dry signal and my bus signal, okay? This is very important. So, okay, and here, that's why this looks like this here. The guitar two, on market and buzz guitars so I can leave it right where it is at the 0 dB and I'm gonna um, put the same Sony wave hammer whoa okay Sony wave hammer you know the preset smooth comp okay that would be and we're gonna put a little less guitars around uh, 11. So there it is. You can. Um, have another new uh, track here and play uh, along. That's exactly what we're gonna do. But the next video, the sound will be a lot better. I'll explain it there. See you there.